That's what prosecutors recommended. But when the sentence came, it took everyone by surprise. The death penalty, said the judge, adding he could find no mitigating circumstances for a lesser punishment. Last May, almost five kilograms of cocaine with a street value of £1.6 million was found in Lindsay Sanderford's suitcase as she arrived on a flight from Thailand. She's always maintained she was forced to smuggle the drugs after her son's life was threatened. She didn't give her reaction, but her lawyer said she was very shocked. This was not predicted. She never thought she'd get the death penalty. The judge didn't even consider our reasons for leniency as we put forward in our defence. We will appeal. Indonesia has some of the world's toughest drug laws, with the ultimate penalty of death by firing squad. But it's rare for death row prisoners to be executed. Five foreigners have been killed in the last 14 years. Three other Brits are accused of being part of the operation. It's alleged Julian Pounder from Brighton was meant to receive the cocaine. A verdict in his trial is imminent. His partner, Rachel Dougal, is spending a year in prison and Paul Beals four years for related offences. Lindsay Sanderford will now start a lengthy appeal. Her fate may ultimately end in a plea for leniency to the Indonesian president himself. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.